this is lecture 10 on calculus 2 and it's on some gradient function stuff. It's also on the Taylor series with two variables. We did it with one variable in calculus 1. Right, first off, stationary points. Now, you should remember this. This is simple stuff. So if we have grad f and we let these two functions that we get left with uh, are partial derivatives. If we make them equal to zero, then the functions we've got, whatever the, uh, the values are, so here I've just said if the x and the y equals zero, then it's a stationary point. So you could, and it, there's an example in a minute. Uh, a stationary point that's neither max, a maximum or a minimum, uh, so when you differentiate it again, uh, like, like, just like normal, uh, this is a saddle point. Now, a saddle point, the best representation is a Pringle. So, if you look at in the middle, from one direction it's the maximum, from another direction it's the minimum. Uh, yeah, just like a saddle, really. Right, a critical point is either a stationary point or it's not defined. And how to tell, now this is how to tell uh, what it is. So, once we have our position and our function and our value, then uh, the, the derivative with respect to x done twice times uh, the derivative, the partial derivative, sorry, with respect to y done twice uh, times the negative of the partial derivative of x and then y, or your around, squared. Now, if this is negative, after multiplying them, then this is a saddle point. Also, we have here uh, partial derivative with respect to x twice times partial derivative with respect to y twice times the negative of the partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y squared. If this is, pos this is positive, then you've found a maximum point if uh, f of x, x, I'll say that's a, just a bit easier to say, and f of f what, what uh, f of y y are both positive, then it's a maximum, uh, and it's a minimum if f of x x and f of f y y are ne uh, are negative. Yeah. Right. We should have an example. Have we got example? So we have this. Find the critical points of x squared minus y squared. Now, first of all, what do we have to do? We have to differentiate with respect to x and then with respect to y to find the gradient function, which will give you this. Then we want these to equal zero. So we have this equals zero and this equals zero. So the only, the only possible solution is that x and y are both equal to zero. So now we want to find out, is it a max, is it a min, is it a saddle? So what we do is we differentiate again uh, we differentiate uh, with respect to x again, we get 2, differentiate with respect to y, get minus 2, and uh, x and then y, like that, uh, give us 0, so there isn't on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply them, so we've got 2 times minus 2, and there isn't, there isn't a function over here because it's 0, so we just leave that, yeah, and that give us minus 4, and like we said in the previous, if it's a, a negative, then it's a saddle point. So we have found a saddle point at the point zero zero. Yeah, good, good. Right, Taylor series. This is just a function into an equation again. So, which is always good. Uh, if we have a Taylor series, we want the Taylor series of f of x y uh, around the point a b. Then we use this formula. Now what we've done here, we just have, this is the function, putting in the, va the, the values a, b, so we put these into, the, into there. Uh, next we differentiate with respect to x, we put the values in, and then we times it by x minus a. We do the same with y, but times it by y minus b. Then we have the half, now this is just the, the only part you need to remember, really. the half, uh, when you do the partial derivative with the respect to the, the same function again, so we have xx and yy. 
and this is just mu multiply it by x minus a, which is uh, squared, which is simple to remember because you've done it twice, and x times x is x squared. Ta-da! And the same with the y. Uh, also, then we have the x, y, uh, which remember is part from derivative x, then y, and we multiply uh, in the point um, again remember and then we have times that by x minus a and y minus b so if there's an x you multiply by x minus a if there's a y you multiply by y minus b same here but we've got two of them so we multiply squared and it's pretty easy to understand now we have an example so we want the Taylor series of f of xy where it's equal to x cubed times y to the 4 about the point one one. so what we've got to do first, we've got to do a lot of partial derivatives. So, with respect to x, we have the 3 down, we have 3x squared times y4. With respect to y, we have 4x cubed times y cubed. Uh, same for these, xx, uh, 6x times y to the 4, uh, 12x squared times y. That, there should be a 4 there, y to the 4. And then we have 12x cubed times y squared. Yeah? Yeah? Now, we simply have to put in our values, which are 1, 1. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we have 3, 6, 12, 4, 12. And we put this into our formula. Now, we have the 1, we have the 3, times the x minus 1, 4, times the y minus 1. We have a half times this. We have a half times this, and then we have the, just the normal at the end, 12 times this. And if you expand this, uh, do a bit of a rejiggle to make it look a bit nicer, you'll end up with your final answer of 15 minus 15x plus 3x squared minus 20y plus 6y squared plus 12xy. And that's how it's done.